Hey you and welcome. I'm Mr. Barry, part of the Selma Teacher 7 channel. And in this whole video, we're going to be looking at Aomi Backupper software, showing you how to use it and some of my favorite features of that program. Now this backup software is available for Windows and it comes in a few different versions including a free one that is geared towards home users that are looking for a simple yet effective backup solution. And the link to the download is in the video description below. So I encourage you to give it a try if you're currently looking for a backup software solution to keep your data safe. Now there's lots of competition for backup software on Windows machines these days. But Aomi is one of the most popular ones. So let's give it a try and see how well it actually works. We'll be testing off two different features today. First off, we're going to be doing a folder backup onto a network attached storage device. And then we'll be showing how to clone a system drive onto a new SSD. We'll be doing the cloning on a Windows 11 computer. Now this software does work on older Windows 7 machines as well. Alright then, let's get on with the review. Simply hit download and install it from the video description. You'll be presented with a screen to purchase or try the pro version. Or click skip to install the free version. Once it's done, go ahead and run it. So my first impressions of the software is generally good. The color theme is easy to look at and the user interface is easy to navigate. The main features are clearly labeled on the side as you would expect. The home tab gives shortcuts to backups and your sync jobs. The other features are backup, sync, restore, clone, and tools. Clicking on them expands the available options. So first I'm going to show how to set up a schedule folder backup that will be saved to one of my network drives. For this task, I'm going to click on Backup and it reveals the options for that tab. If you're a content creator like me, then I'm sure that you'll understand how important it is to keep backups of all of your important work in case you mess up a project or you accidentally delete something. Also, setting up an automatic schedule backup makes everything worry-free. So to do this, first go to Backup and then click on File backup. Next click on add folder and an explorer window will now open allowing you to explore and find the correct folder that you want to back up. I'll be selecting my Night Cafe AI generated art media folder. Click open. Next select the destination folder by clicking here. Then you'll be given a choice of a local path, a network attached storage device, or a cloud drive. In my case, I'll be saving it to a Samba shared drive. So I'll need to enter in the IP address of that device. After locating or keying in the address that you want, now click on the blue button to continue. Now click OK and let's look at the options. And notice we have some options here. If you wanted to go and do the encryption, that would require the pro version to do that. And what we're going to do is go down here and use compression. But since I have a fast system, I'm not going to change the compression or any of these settings here. But just to, it's nice to know that you do have that option. I'm going to click on OK. Now I'm going to click on Schedule Backup and turn that on there. And we can do a daily backup if we need to. And notice here. It actually has the date and the time there and then I can do it once a day there at and we can change that to so let's go to about once uh, at midnight and we click on OK and then we can click on start backup this might take a while it depends on the speed of your network and the size of the folder now that the backup is done, I'm going to test it to see if I can properly restore. I've deleted the files on my local drive, so now I'll be restoring them from the network drive I used as the backup destination. This is quite easy to do. First click restore and then select the task that you want. If you've made different backups, they will all appear here. 
Click Next and you'll be given an opportunity to explore the backup. If you had selected a scheduled backup, then you can select the specific date that you wish to restore from. The Explorer allows you to select certain folders and files from the backup as well. But in this case, I wish to restore the entire folder. Now you will be given the option to restore the folders to the destination of your choice. I will select its original location and now start it. Now that it's done, let's see if it's backed up all of the data. I'll check the size of the folder to verify. And it looks perfect. It's 492 megabytes, which is the correct size. You can also go to Tools and click Explore Image if you have the Pro version to just view the files without starting a restore. Now let's try out the cloning and imaging feature on a Windows laptop. I'll be cloning from the laptop's built-in 256 gig storage and the destination will be the 256 gig SSD that I installed to back up to. First click clone from the main menu. You'll be presented with a few options. System clone and disk clone are basically the same thing but the system clone automatically selects the current boot disk as the source. So it's slightly easier. I'll be selecting disk clone because this is included in the free version. Now select the source drive, which in my case is seen as disk one, but yours may be different. And then select the destination drive. Be careful to select the correct destination drive because if you select the wrong one, it will be erased. Now on this screen, notice the setting on the bottom called SSD alignment. You'll wish to select this if you're cloning to an SSD. If your target is larger than the source drive, you'll want to also go to Edit Partitions and select Add Unused Space to All Partitions. Unfortunately, that feature is only available in the Pro version. So if you are using the free version, then your clone drive will be the same size as your source drive, unless you go through the extra steps of manually resizing it. I think this is a feature that should have been included in the free version. But anyway, let's continue and finish the cloning process. If you see this message, go ahead and press yes. It will take a while to complete. But when it does, go ahead and restart the computer and enter the BIOS. Normally you can enter the BIOS by pressing the delete key on some machines and the F1 key on others. Once you are in the BIOS, find the boot options and boot order and change the first boot option you should see two hard drives or storage devices. So select the one that corresponds to your new drive. The menus and options may look slightly different depending on your motherboard's brand, but they should be similar enough for you to figure it out. Now save and restart your system. When your system boots up, it should be running from the new drive. So hey, there you go. Now overall, I did find AOMI backup software to be efficient and easy to use so I do recommend it for home and small business users. Hey if you like these types of videos please click on that thumbs up comment down below if you have a question or a perhaps an idea for a future video just leave it down in the comments and I'll make sure that I get to those as soon as I can. I want to say a big thank you to all those who have been sharing my videos on their social media too really appreciate that and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel. All right. Thank you very much. Y'all have a very good day. Bye-bye. Mm,